Garbo, and I noticed uh, the other day that she had dirty feathers uh, beneath her tail, and I was just wondering if she'd got lice. Because at this time of year, uh, the birds are just coming out of molt and getting their new feathers on. You can see the new feathers forming here. These are the little wax covers that come up on the feathers, and they're particularly tasty um, for lice. And as they've got a lot of plumage at the moment, they can hide quite easily from them. And they get into the difficult places, uh, the top of the head, the front, where they can't reach them. My hens actually groom each other, which is really useful, but now and again, um, one or two escape. So it's at night that they do a major part of grooming, um, clearing up any parasites they've got. But uh, it's also at night, unfortunately, that the parasites can move uh, through close contact between the chickens from one to the other. The major thing with all parasites is one, to be able to identify them, and secondly, to be able to know how to treat them once you have identified them. And it's always good to know the life cycle, because then you won't waste time. So in the first part of this film, I just want to look at the lice, how to identify them, what to look for in your flock, and secondly, how to assess the treatment you should be giving them. This is Rufus, he's, he's the brother of Garbo, and if you keep trickings, you know one thing that's sacrosanct with them is their position on the perch. So now knowing that Garbo has uh, little visitors, in the case of lice, I'm now going to check the uh, cockerel, her brother, who is next to her on the perch at night, just to see if he's got any. And I'm going to, oh yeah, I'm afraid he has. He's got some lice eggs there. As I said before, lice are close contact, so they're going to be in the nearest chicken to the one that's got it. Yeah, he's got quite a few actually. In fact, she hasn't got as many as this, so in effect, she probably got them off him. And this is Stanislas, Garbo's other brother, and I shall check him too. And I've got uh, nine birds all together in this hen house, and I shall check systematically through them all now. And having looked, <laughs> having looked at the eggs on Rufus, I would say because they're so white, uh, this is a very recent uh, happening. So I've caught it in time before it turns into a thing of epidemic proportions. <laughs> You'll be all right, won't you? Say a few words. No, you've gone shy, haven't you? He's got just a few. So my guess is at the moment that everything started with Rufus. Here's Rufus. He's a chamois white lace crested and bearded polish cockerel lice are ectoparasites uh, they live all their life on their host they're host specific so they stay on one specific breed of animal so in this case this is a poultry louse that's on uh, rufus oh dear <laughs> they can't survive for a very long time uh, only really a matter of hours off the host so they move between birds that are very close to each other and they move when they're on the perch. Now th the problem with the louse is that it hatches a lot of eggs within its very short lifetime. It only, the adult only lives for three weeks but it can lay up to 300 eggs in that three weeks and those eggs hatch within four to six days and they themselves become adult within 10 to 15 so you can see that if you let them live, uh, you can be in a very difficult situation. They can breed very, very rapidly. So it's most important when treating your poultry for any sort of parasite to know the life cycle of that parasite, and therefore you won't be wasting your time treating, okay. treating for example, a hen house when the parasite is always on the bird, so we know what to look for now. Now, although uh, these lice are host-specific, uh, they don't know that at the moment and one thing that will happen to you when you do treat your animals is that the lice will actually get onto you. Uh, they can't survive for very long uh, and you can actually feel them where they are so you can get them. I know for a fact straight off that um, Rufus hasn't got a bad infestation because he's been sitting on my knee for a bit and I can't feel anything so <laughs> he's okay. 
and you really do need to treat these quite quickly because as I said they are, um, they're very prolific and they will spread throughout your birds. In the second part of the film I'll be looking at the treatment which is with essential oil of eucalyptus citrudora, lemon eucalyptus and how I use that to treat the lice.